Well, gardens are getting ready to reach their peak bloom thanks to mm -hmm. pollinators like bees and butterflies. News on 6's Meredith McCown talked with the gardener guy about what it means for your own garden. Pollinators are species that help flowers grow, but the gardener guy says what you attract in your garden depends on what you plant. At Southwood Landscape and Garden Center, you'll find a plethora of plants in all colors, shapes, and sizes. James says those factors play a role for pollinators. Color plays a role in this, from the standpoint that, for instance, honeybees love the color blue. In fact, they can't even see the color red. To them, it's black. He says the shape is the most important. For example, he says butterflies and bees flock to flat shapes and hummingbirds tubular shapes. So the pollinators are seeking out the nectar, the sweet nectar, which is a primary energy source for them. And in the process, the pollen gets all over them. So then they move from flower to flower and transfer the pollen from one flower to another. He says that's what produces the seed. But he says the pollinators will stop by no matter what the flower looks like. The best known pollinators around here are the bees, honeybees, bumblebees. There are several different bees actually, sweat bees, mason bees, and they come out at different times of the year. James says others include moths, bats, ants, and even certain types of beetles. He says there are some setbacks for the species, like the dwindling population of honeybees. One of the biggest threats to pollinators is pesticides. So if you must spray early, early in the morning or late in the evening when the pollinators typically are not out. James says since many flowers blossom in long days in sunlight, summer is a great time for your garden to grow. In Tulsa, Meredith McCown, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.